with guys, you know, it's very much a case that if, you know, these days, and this is a fucking rabbit hole, so I'll be careful how deep down I go here, but obviously with masculinity at the moment, and, and, you know, sort of for a lot of people, it's considered very toxic. So if, you know, you're being manly or a little bit aggressive or showing male emotions, then that's toxic these days. But some men need that, you know, we're men, you know what I mean? Some some men need that release. And, you know, sometimes they might just go out on the piss and have a proper session. But now we're saying that's probably not, bad, not good for you either. So actually for guys, I think having that release um, physically will just, yeah, it settles guys down. And I always found that with the physical adversity, and you get this from normal exercise as well when you really push yourself or training groups. But when you go through physical adversity, like non-physical adversity feels just so much easier. Like, you know, if, you, if you're if you really stressed and you've had no outlet and yeah. things just build up, build up, build up, build up, I don't know, you get a fucking parking ticket and you lose your fucking mind over it because that's just the hair that broke the camel's back. Yeah. Whereas if you've been through physical adversity and you've dealt with that, then actually getting a parking ticket, oh, fuck's sake, it's annoying. Probably, you know, can't afford it, but whatever. It's I'll weird, handle it. It's weird it. you say that. Do you know, you know I said uh, I clipped my car the other day? <laughs> I didn't clip it, mate. <laughs> Give it a new paint job. <laughs> but it was after I went, jiu-jitsu mm. so i drove into town for an haircut clipped my car mm. and i was fucked i was like do you know what i just don't even care yeah <laughs> my boy's like dad i was like I just don't care yeah just don't literally don't care yeah you know it's just at that point where it was like i was so knackered yeah but in a good way yeah that i was just like i had no aggression no no like worry left i was like yeah, yeah. So that's what i'm gonna do yeah it, I mean? it's it, gonna it, get me nowhere kicking off yeah at exactly. myself yeah. you know what yeah. i mean what i would say as well with jiu-jitsu if you're if if you get that bug and you're in, it makes you not want to drink as well. Like mm. a lot of the times, I don't want to. Yeah, that never really worked for me, mate. <laughs> yeah, which I, which, but it, for me it does yeah. because I, I know for a fact that if I was to drink, yeah, I wouldn't want to go jujitsu. Yeah, so you, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I'd rather if you give me the option now of going uh, two or one no gi on a Friday night or going out to the pub, it would fucking every time be jujitsu yeah. every time. Yeah, no, it it, it does and it, it increases that health seeking behaviour, doesn't it? especially because it's like very performance based as we just talked about it's very much about application you won't like hinder that that application so you want to do things like you say that will improve that and you might look at your diet as well you, you might get look fitter, all sorts. you yeah. get stronger you know because you'll get that guy even though they the smaller guys do benefit in ways they still at times they still want to be explosive and strong so then you think all oh, right i want to get to the gym twice a week i want to work on some snc you know i'm not going to drink as much because i want to get good and because because you're developing the skills yourself, you're not doing it for a team, you're not doing it for someone else, you're developing that for you. Yeah. So whether you get injured or whatever, you still always have that skill there. You know, it's like, if it, if it's there, it's there. And yeah. then as you do that and you keep developing those skills, you know, it makes you just just a better person yeah. in, in, in everything you do. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I, I talked earlier, or mentioned earlier about like, you know, a period in my life where jujitsu kind of kept me on the straight and narrow. And I think, you know, I grew up in, in quite a rough area of the city. You know, I think when I grew up, it was, I think it was the third most deprived area in Europe at one point. It was fucking crazy. And I don't know how they measure that, but essentially nobody had fucking jobs. Nobody had any money and half the people were on fucking heroin. So it was a pretty rough area. Um, and naturally growing up in a place like that, I had a bit of a chip on my shoulder. And it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't my, my, my parents were good people. They weren't from that area. They just, you know, made some poor decisions, I guess, and moved there. And um, I grew up there. But as I got older, like it was, it, I always had a bit of an attitude problem, essentially, growing up around that area, because you kind of have to, because you've got an attitude problem, then you just become a bit of a, you just become a victim. So you've got to be a bit, a bit aggro to, to just walk down the fucking street in peace. Um, so as I become an adult and started getting jobs and, and moving out of those areas, um, it was, it, I still had that kind of attitude and yeah, it was, it was like a bit of a chip on my shoulder, but also like, I don't know, like a, a, a like an arrogance where, you know, I wasn't prepared to kind of listen to other people and thought I knew best and everything else. And I found that jujitsu was, was so good because first of all, get my ass kicked, as we've said, you know, you go in with all the attributes you want and the aggression and everything else, like someone who's more technical will beat you. Every time. Yeah. Every time. Don't That's why I want to re reiterate to people every single time. Yeah, they 100%. They will fucking batter you. So, you you know, you'd go in there and I'd have to just, I'd have to go in there and lose. I'd have to accept mm -hmm. losing. And, and, you know, with jiu-jitsu, that it's it's submission grappling, which means that you need to submit. So not only does someone beat you, you've got to actually, you've actually got to surrender. 
you've got to go, yeah, you've bested me. And you tap your tap your arm or their body or whatever and they let you go. So you do that enough times and, and I don't know, it changes your like attitude and your perspective and it certainly humbles you. Yeah. And what I found then as I got older, um, you know, where I grew up, like left me with a certain sort of mentality, but then a couple of years of jujitsu just like knocked that out of me. And A, I was a lot more confident. So therefore I was a lot less aggro because when people are confident, they don't they don't flash up as much because they feel self-assured and they don't have to like, you know, sort of posture to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. So firstly for me, because I felt more confident in my physical ability, I didn't I didn't have to posture up anymore because yeah. I was fine. I was like, you know, people are threatening me, it's fine. <laughs> like I can handle myself. And as a result of of not posturing, often almost in every single case that someone was maybe, you know, being aggressive, you know, it, it, it was fine because it didn't ever escalate. Cause I, didn't f I, I wouldn't throw any fuel on the fire because they'd be getting aggressive. And then normally I'd get scared. So I'd posture up and get aggressive back. And then you suddenly go into this weird, like, it's like you just, there you go, you go, and yeah. then it bubbles up and then you end up in a fire or whatever. Um, and I found that I just wouldn't do that because they could be as aggressive as they want. I'd be like, I'm, I'm all right. If it, if it, if yeah. it kicks, if it kicks yeah, off, it kicks I'm fine. Off, yeah. And I'm, you know, by no means the hardest guy in, in the world, but I just had that little bit of reassurance enough that I didn't need to, to flash up. So that was one thing. And then, yeah, just the, the, the humbling of it, just knowing that, you know, physically you, you, you're not as strong as you think you are. And it just removes the ego. Um, and one of the things that I find with, with a lot of people is whether it's, you know, an ego thing or an arrogance thing, but they're unwilling to like take on new perspectives sometimes. I find that some people are just set in their ways. They won't listen to other people's opinion. They won't admit they're wrong. They won't like welcome new information and new ideas. And I think that really hinders the growth of people sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, it's one thing certainly working in leadership now that I'm, I've always been very open to is no matter who it is, if someone's telling me that they think something could be done better or different, then I'll listen. I'm very happy to be proven wrong. It's literally one of my favorite things. If I've got an idea about something and someone proves me wrong on it, then great. I think that's cool. You know what I mean? I, I really appreciate that now. And I think jujitsu has given me that ability. And I think some people lack that ability because they're stuck in their ways. They won't listen, they're arrogant, whatever. But yeah, through jujitsu being humbled, um, it just, I don't know, it gives you like a confidence to be wrong. And, I, don't, and I, don't, I don't know anyone who doesn't like it, who's tried it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like you, you think of all of the, not just famous people, but you, you know, you, you look at Joe Rogan, yeah. you look at Jocko, you look at all these top, top people who've done amazing things their lives yeah and it all stems through martial arts jiu-jitsu you know they they get that discipline and that that work ethic from that yeah so one thing i'll say especially being around it for so many years is is not all gyms are made equal um so some people will listen to this and go i've tried jiu-jitsu i fucking hated it full of wankers got beat up whatever um that would typically just be a bad gym and sadly there are bad gyms because you know it is what it is. I think jujitsu, again, it's because of the application of it. Most people really, you know, sort of on merit will get their belts and therefore they've got a, a particular attitude and mindset around them. But you will get some fighters gyms. Um, you get gyms that are really sort of heavily focused on competing and fighting. Um, and they're, they're pretty fucking cool. But for some people walking in there, that might be saying. a bit much. It's at, it's at a level, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool if you're maybe a purple belt and you're pretty good and you yeah. want to compete at a high yeah. level. You or, know, that's or, where you want to be. Yeah, or you're a local hard cunt and you want to go and have a scrap. And <laughs> yeah. then you're, you know, after a while, you start developing some skills yeah. on the back of that yeah. that toughness that you've got. But, you know, for your doctors and your scientists and, you know, the, the other people that we train with yeah. that, that don't want to get filled in, it may well be that they've just gone to the wrong gym. So my advice to people is if you've been to a jiu-jitsu gym and you had a bad experience, try another one. Like, go, yeah. They're not all the same. Um, and sometimes... It's about finding the right coach, the right group of people. Yeah, the right fit. Yeah, the right fit. Yeah, yeah. horse of a course yeah. is. So not everybody's, you know, sort of um, ethos and uh, style of, of training will suit everybody. But I think for pretty much everybody, um, jujitsu will drastically improve their lives because it will it will give them a level of confidence that they've never had before. It will humble them and open them up to to you know trying things and failing and being okay with that. It will you know, give them the opportunity to take on the information. Yeah. Um, and, you know, probably the thing we've not talked about what we should, but it's just the physical fitness. 
Yeah. You know, yeah, you do get really fit, don't you? Yeah. 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 So, so yeah, there's so many good things with it.